everyone, I got a request from someone um, wanting me to show off my lipstick rack that I made once I had it all set up and painted and had all my lipsticks on it. So this is what it looks like. I just have it um, on a little table next to my vanity right now and I will quickly go through and just kind of show you some of the lipsticks that I have. So this is just a quick kind of little overview of my lipstick collection. So the first row I have, the top row, I have a lot, a lot of NYX um, round lipsticks. They're really inexpensive um, and they're really good. They're not bad and I don't know, they're just really good lipsticks without paying a whole lot. They're about four or five dollars each. And then over here in the corner I just have two um, Revlon lipsticks. The second um, shelf here is kind of like my mismatch, miscellaneous um, shelf, I guess. Uh, these are all ones that I only have like one lipstick of or whatever. So this first one is an Urban Decay lipstick. This one is Mary Kay. This one is my YSL Rouge Velept lipstick. It's the most expensive lipstick I've ever bought. And I don't think I'll ever buy another super expensive lipstick, but this is honestly one of the best lipsticks I have ever tried. This one, completely juxtaposing it, is an Essence lipstick. I think this one was like one or two dollars. I got it from Ulta. This one's also really good. It has a similar smell to the YSL one, and it's really similar in color too. Um, another Revlon, um, I think this is the Color Burst collection. Uh, Victoria's Secret, this is my only MAC lipstick. Um, this one is Saint Germain. Uh, I also have a hard candy lipstick. This one I think is a Maybelline lipstick. And is this a Sinful Colors maybe? I don't remember. <laughs> Sinful Colors. And then I have three more on the shelf. These are um, just three Rimmel London lipsticks that I have. And this third shelf I have three of the Revlon Lip Butters. Um, I really, really didn't like the purple one, but these two are pretty good. And this one looks really good on top of St. Germain. I think it's um, Cupcake or whatever. I have three Lime Crime lipsticks. One is um, Centrifugia, one is Great Pink Planet, and the other one is Coquette. Then over here I have two more like Sinful Color lip uh, lipsticks. And then over here, I don't think you can even see them because they're so dark, but they are the, um, just the e.l.f. Um, mineral lipsticks. I have two of those. Then the last shelf that I have lipstick on, I have two of the Wet n Wild um, lipsticks. I like these a lot too. They're very inexpensive. These two are Almay and these two are Ulta, but they look almost exactly alike, so I just keep them together. Um, and then these two are just two of the e.l.f. Um, I think there's like one or two dollars um, each. I really, really don't recommend these. They're not that good, and even though they're a dollar, they're not worth a dollar. So that is my complete lipstick collection and my new lipstick holder. I really like um, customized organization things. I just think they work the best for your collection, for what you have. It really helps if you have someone um, in your family or someone you know that is really handy with power tools. My mom happens to be pretty good with power tools. So we built this together and um, it's basically just a smaller version of the nail polish rack that we also built um, quite a few months ago. But the wood is so much more sturdy than like foam board. I've seen a lot of nail polish racks made out of foam board. I used to have one and it just got really dirty and it wasn't, it wasn't um, very good. So just to give you an idea about the size, I can line up about 14 um, NYX size lipsticks on one shelf and it can go back about three lipsticks. I have three right here. Even if you have a lot of lipstick, even a lipstick holder this size can really hold a lot, a lot of lipstick. So, so the size of this lipstick holder on one shelf you can hold about like 42 tubes of like a NYX lipstick size tube. So that's quite a lot for just one shelf. So, you know, it's just imagine how many lipsticks you can fit. I have, um, I think I have probably about 40 tubes of lipstick total on this and there's still tons of room for more. I definitely don't need any more lipstick, but sometimes it happens and if it does, I've got room for it. So if you are a crazy lipstick-aholic and you just have no idea how to store it, um, maybe creating something like this 
could be a good option for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!